Hello everyone, this is Rosie with the second video in my Disney Princess Create a Sim series. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is Cinderella from the movie Cinderella, of course. And as I said in the Ariel Create a Sim video, she does come out looking a bit cartoonish, but I think that's okay because my goal was to get as close to the movie as possible and I think I did a pretty good job with that. So. Like I said with Ariel, the trick is to give her those big ol' eyes, but her eyes are not nearly as big as Ariel's. I think Disney really took the cake when it comes to big eyes when they drew Ariel, but it's okay because she's beautiful, and so is Cinderella. Now, just as a heads up, the thing with the really old Disney movies is that the color scheme of like her eyes and her hair and her outfits is slightly different depending on the picture because what Disney does is they release different versions of the movie, you know, as um, technology gets better and better, they release HD versions of the movie and then the Blu-ray version of the movie. So I think depending on the year of the release of the version of the film, the color scheme is a little different because of the quality improvements. So I kind of just went with what I thought was the most accurate, and it might not be 100% accurate, like her eye color that I'm doing right now. In some pictures it looked they look totally blue, in some pictures they look totally green, so I kind of just went with this in-between-ish color that I hope suits it well enough. Same thing with her everyday wear, that, um, that dress that she wears when she's living with them and cleaning all the time. Sometimes the top part looks black, sometimes it looks dark brown. I just went with dark brown because I think the black is just attributed to poor quality, because I think the newer versions, um, they were dark brown and not black. So, um, yeah, I just kind of guessed with a lot of that stuff, but I tried to get as close as I could. And as you can see, I'm doing some layering for her everyday wear here. Because in the movie, she wears the skirt. Well, it actually, it appears to be a dress over a, like, three-quarter sleeve shirt. So I tried to give that illusion by using a leotard accessory that I found over at Mod The Sims and putting a tank top and a skirt over it, and I think it does the trick very well. I'm really happy with how it looks. The only downside is that I couldn't find an apron, but that's okay. <laughs> it's the same thing with her hair color, the, the color distortion. It was really hard. Sometimes it looked completely blonde, other times it looked strawberry blonde, so I just made it blonde. <laughs> and for her formal wear, I go with a dress meant for a Cinderella sim from uh, sillfantasy.blogspot.com. They have some beautiful stuff over there for Disney and fairy tale themed Sims, so that's great. And that's the hair that came with it that I just had briefly, but I wasn't too happy with how it looked, so I ended up settling with that because I think it just looks more natural. I didn't want to give her too heavy makeup. I don't think eyeliner really suits the Disney princesses very well, at least not the old ones, the classic ones. For some reason, I spend forever picking the right shade of lipstick. I'm not sure why. Probably, again, because the colors are different in every single picture. <laughs> and I got from Still Fantasy that headband, but it wasn't laying right. I don't think the hat sliders worked with it. So I ended up just giving her a tiara that I could adjust it with the hat sliders. And I don't know. I just I like the idea of Cinderella having a pretty tiara, even though it's not 100% accurate. I just I think it's pretty, so... That's what I went with. And moving on to her sleepwear. In the beginning of the movie, we get to see, the first time we see Cinderella as an adult, she's wearing that pretty blue, pretty, ooh, pretty blue nightgown. And that's what I went with. And I gave her some braids like they do in the movie. Because, you know, who doesn't sleep in a good braid? There we go. And for her athletic wear, I kind of just went with this medieval peasant garb that I found over at Mod The Sims. Gave her some boot-looking things, I guess, for some more dirty work, if you want to say that, and I gave her the braids again. And for her swimwear, I just went with a long-sleeved leotard that I found, again, over at Mod The Sims. And for her traits, I gave her virtuoso, neat, good, friendly, and I think brave, yes, because you'd have to be brave to put up with those people your whole life, with an evil stepsisters and an evil stepmother. And in this bit, I, as usual, took her over into a household so I could make her wedding dress because I think it's very important that we give all of the princesses their proper wedding dresses because I find them all very beautiful. 
and I tried that wedding veil and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for and so I went with that one and um, I'm almost positive both of those wedding veils are from BEO Creations. I absolutely adore BEO Creations. As a matter of fact, that dress is also from BEO Creations. I absolutely love all of their stuff. I use all of their dresses like pretty I pretty much have all of their dresses downloaded into my game and use them for various sims Now I tried to give her a black choker because she wears that black choker um, In her wedding the same one that she wears at the ball She wears it to her wedding as well, but I wasn't liking how it was looking because of the the circle in the middle So I ended up just getting rid of it and it doesn't really look appropriate for a wedding anyway So I just pretended that it didn't exist yeah, and for some reason the crown got off-centered again, so I just fixed it with the hat sliders again, made it look better. There we go. Yeah, that is our Cinderella Tremaine. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I work so hard on this Create a Sim videos for you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed them. Stay tuned for some screenshots in-game of Cinderella and her prince dancing. Thank you so much.